it helps when you turn your mic on. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream. As I was saying, the lighting today is a little weird. Uh, one of my ring lights broke. The light I used to highlight um, the unboxing zone is kind of on the glitch and keeps turning off, but we're just going to run with it and see what we can do. Hi, my name is Sadie. Welcome to my corner of the internet. Um, I'm kind of, and there it goes. I just, I give up. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna work with minimal lighting that we have because we're just we're just not having a good day today. Um, so I am kind of a fan of po all things Pokemon. Um, I have been for a very long time. To anyone who hasn't been here before, and today we are unboxing a Chilling Rain booster box. So I actually pre-ordered this, and I've been holding on to it because I haven't had time to do a live stream. I also have not been, um, I purposely haven't seen any unboxings of the Chilling Rain stuff because I've been trying not to kind of find out what's in the box um, so that we can really do our first impressions over here. So fingers crossed it all goes fine. Um, fingers crossed nothing else technically goes wrong. I've had like, I've had such a day. I've had such a day. Um, it started with me not sleeping very well then it went to um, just like my day job work stuff was completely crazy. Things kept breaking. Things kept not working. It was just a day. It was an absolute day. So we are here. We're calm. We're going to... Why is that gone a little bit wonky? We're going to unbox some Pokemon cards, we're going to chill, we're just gonna be very calm. Um, two things. One, yes you can see the begin <laughs> one of the overhead, um, hi! Uh, you can see the overhead camera in my frame. Um, the other thing that broke today was my regular face camera which is usually higher up so you don't see this, but we're just gonna work with it because I don't know really what else to do at this point. I'm just, I'm so past the point of wanting to deal with anything else breaking that I'm just not too fussed. Um, I can't show the code cards because I actually play the TCGO and um, I use the code cards for myself for my online game. Um, usually I would say, sure, I can show the co code cards, but I'm actually using them myself right now, so I will not be showing the code cards, sorry. All right, so we have all of these wonderful cards to go through. I want to see if we can pull out just the set, full set of the new arts, which are all of these. Okay, there we go. So here are the new art for the booster packs. I really love the art on this one. I think the arts on this are just so amazingly gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna start, I'm just gonna pick a random one out of the pile. Okay, so first thing is, I can't really open these properly. Um, oh, okay, she says as she opens it properly. Um, usually they don't open properly for me and so we're just gonna kinda run with it. But what are you gonna do? All right, we can do the Pokemon Shuffle, and all right, Fire Energy, Agatha, Raboot, Welcoming Lantern, that's one I haven't seen before. Put a single strike support card from your discard pile into your hand. Okay, that might actually see some play. I'm quite looking forward to that. Galarian Slowpoke, Snova, Venipede, Snorunt, Aron, interesting art, but okay. Reverse holo, holo coughing. I've had a conversation already about how I feel about the reverse holo in the dark Pokemon because you can just, you can barely see it. It's really difficult to have a look. And then shiny Rillaboom. Ooh, I do like the holo Rillaboom. Um, and I have been looking for the Rillaboom, so that's quite happy making. It's not the card I was, you know, it's not the card I'm looking for the most. Um, I don't actually have a gold card that I'm specifically looking for because, um, I, as I said, I haven't looked and seen the um, unboxings that other YouTubers have done um, on purpose because I really don't want to, uh, I really don't want, didn't want to kind of give myself any uh, previews. I wanted this to be like a first impressions of the artwork especially. So fist bump energy. 
expedition uniform. Look at the bottom three cards of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order. That could see some play, I think, possibly. Laron, Seabold, choose two, up to two of your Rapid Strike Pokemon and heal 60 damage from each of them. That might see some play. Diglett, Furfro, Swabble, Bonsweet, Hatena, Reverse. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. Reverse, Hollow, Charmin, and a Solbuck. Okay. So we're starting off a little slow, which is totally fine. Starting off slow is completely fine. Um, it just means that we have some ooh, some chance to kind of build up throughout the, the time. Okay. We're just going to ignore me destroying the packs as I'm opening them. I, I can't. I, I, I can't open them before. I'm really bad at opening. <laughs> okay. Eye Energy, Old Cemetery. Whoever, whenever a player attaches an energy card from the hand to one of their non-psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Interesting. Median, Avery. I think um, this release is supposed to have more uh, trainer cards than previous release, which I'm really looking forward to because I think that's going to switch up the game quite a bit. Reverse Hollow Furfro and Spiritomb. Um, and I'm really kind of looking forward to some trainer cards, especially that can put some kind of dents into some of the meta decks that we currently see a lot of. Um, not Peak Rom, because that's the deck I currently play with usually, but things like um, anything that can kind of really put any kind of a dent into things like an Eternatus V deck. Or, or a Picaron deck, honestly, um, is going to be really interesting, I think. Excuse me, it's going to be really interesting, I think. Okay, Fist Bump Energy, the Seabold, Grizz, oh, I can never say this one. Grizzly? Grizzil? Grizzil. Grizzilla. I, I like the artwork, though. The artwork's really cool. Can you guys see that? I think the artwork's really cool. Sorry, my camera will just like flatly refuse to focus, but honey. My Vesta, Deli Bird. That's cute artwork with the Christmas presents. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I love that. Deerling, Aaron, Litzel, Reverse Hollow Clara. Ooh, nice. And <gasps> Zero. Oh my god, I can never pronounce this Pokemon thing. Zera Aura V. I mean, this is uh, this Pokemon's a little weird just because to me it kind of looks like a person in a cat costume. That being said, it is a little left heavy on the cut, but that is a really nice card. Now the question becomes, where did I put my sleeves? Where did I put my sleeves? I think I left them in my cat box. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm currently building um, a new deck and with the new releases coming out, I haven't built my final decks or anything yet. I'm currently storing sleeves in my deck box <laughs> because it just, it keeps them neat in a way, but they're all in one place. I know where they are. Um, and then my deck box just lives there because it's shiny and I like it. Okay, so these are just ultra pro deck sleeves. Um, very simple, very basic, but they do get job done. Okay, we're just gonna slip that in here. And we have our first pull of the evening, which is very exciting. Okay, right, on to the next one. <laughs> Hopefully we can do some good here. All right. Excuse me while I destroy another pack. One, two, three, four. Fire Energy, Hatram, Fog Crystal, Wacky, I love. He's just like, he kind of looks kind of derpy. I kind of love him. Glaring Slowpoke, the King of the Derps, Quillfish, Blitzel, Kubfu, oh, that's cute artwork again. Shuppet, Reverse Hollow Sneasel, and a Weezing. Okay. We're not doing too bad so far, I think, given that we're, what, five packs in. One pull and one shiny isn't too, too terrible. I'm not mad at it. But anyway, all right. 
Well, I hope you guys have been having a way better Monday than I have. Um, but you know, it is the beginning of the week um, when one has not had very much sleep. That tends to not help the matter at all. Um, I deal with some insomnia, so first fill of scully pee and oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my god. Look at the shining. Look how amazing that is. Oh my god, Shadow Rider Correct V Max. It is so beautiful. It is so shiny. Oh my god. Shiny pretty. Sorry, I'm trying to get this more in focus. Like, my camera just will not focus. It just doesn't want to do it. Alright, we are getting a sleeve. I'm going to very gently slide that on in. Okay. I think that might. Okay, can I get this to come on. There we go. I feel like that might be. Oh, okay. I'm so happy with that already. Um, as I said at the beginning of this video, I didn't have a specific card I was after or Pokemon I was after. It's me. <sighs> because I haven't seen what's in this set yet. Um, but that makes me very happy. Thank you, Tonya. Um, that is just the, I'm sorry, this Clobopus is so adorable. It looks like a little sad baby and I just want to hug it. And there goes my light again. Okay, we're giving up on the light. It probably needs a recharge. Reverse Holy Diglett and... Oh, we got the V as well! We have the V as well! Oh, look at this, guys. We have the V as well as the V Max. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Okay, this is such a beautiful card as well. Again, it just makes me so incredibly happy to see this. Oh, okay. I am also aware that I need a better overhead camera. It's a work in progress. Shadow Rider, Color X, V. Let's go with the V Max. I am in very happy camper right now. Okay, let me see if I can, hang on for a start. Let me see if I can make this brighter. Does that go any brighter? No, that's like having a having a day over there. Oh, that makes me the color of a small. Yeesh. Oh, hey. No, go, go have dinner, come back. I'm gonna be here a while. We've got a lot still to unbox. So go have dinner and then come back. Yeah, I am. Um, I thankfully managed to set up my camera and my frame a little bit better. Hopefully it works. I'm not sold on this camera current. Well, actually I'm not, I'm happier with this camera than I am with this camera. This one doesn't focus for shit. So we're just gonna go with it. All right. Let's see what I got, let's see what I got, let's see what I got. Sorry, I'm basically running on caffeine and like nothing else today. Um, I'm basically going to finish this live and probably go to bed. Well, no, I have dinner, then I'm gonna go to bed. Zenithy, Zenithy, Furfro. I love this farfetch. Like the Galarian farfetch just looks so grumpy. Like he wants to be anywhere else that is not here. Anywhere else. So cute. Actually, does it work better if I show up here? Can you guys see that better? Like, look how grumpy he is. He's just so grumpy. Makes me so happy. All right. Yeah, go eat dinner and come back. <laughs> totally fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna besmirch anyone for eating their food. Um. All right. We have reverse hello Verona and. Hollow Lycanroc. That is some really creepy art. Like, I'm sorry, that is just, that is seriously creepy art. Like, he looks demented. I'm just, I'm gonna say, he looks demented. 
Um, not my favorite artwork. I do actually love that card. Excuse me, where did I put my water? Hmm. I do love Lycan Rock as a Pokemon, but um, but that artwork's just not it. It's just not it. That's kind of creepy looking. Okay, what have we got here? Water Energy, Haunter, Clara, Flappy, Clawfish. Oh, yes, I've been looking for this. Okay. So wait, no, this must be a new one. Huh. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I collect the um, the illustrated cards by an artist called Asako Ito, who she makes the, these like really cute little crocheted Pokemon images. I'll just I'll show you guys up here because this camera is not doing it for shit. But she like makes these like really cute little um, crocheted Pokemon. And I collect them because I think the artworks on them are so cute. Um, and I do so, so this is like a really adorable thing for me. And there's a new one, there's a little cast form one. I mean, this cast form, I'm not gonna lie, looks like something maybe rated R, but we're here for it still. Oh, little Weedle. Okay, so cute. Snorrent, Crab Roller, Reverse Hollow Flannery, and. Kecleon. I do love Kecleon, but this is non-hollow and it's just kind of a meh. Um, we had a high with the V and the VMAX, so now we're kind of coming ourselves back down to earth, I think. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's see what we have. Spin energy, impact energy. Very nice. Honey, crushing gloves. See what I mean about the trainer cards? So many trainer cards in this pa in this set. Alright, Ladybug, Ghastly, Rockruff, Inke. Okay, that's just the most adorable. Like it looks like a little chef, but like a little mini jellyfish chef. And I'm here for it. That is just too cute. Marvesta, reverse hollow cinderace, and a bomber snow. Okay. Next. We're moving through this one a little bit faster than previously. Um, I am probably doing that partially because I'm exhausted and partially because it is Monday and I don't know, I'm just kind of like, there's not, a, there's not a ton that's like really exciting me with the new artwork. I thought some of the new art I would just absolutely love. Eye Energy, Steeny. Dying Hill Tree. Ooh, Scroll of the Skies. Here's, this is a new one. This is definitely new. Okay, Runs Your Fucking Statue, Newsday Back on this card. So, Grab Drop. This attack does 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, this could see, this is going to see some serious play. And it's electric. Yes, yeah, so this is going to see some serious play, like, for example, with a Pekrom deck or with, um, Oh my god, my brain's doing a total blank. Anyway. Um, but yeah, any any deck that uses any kind of electric Pokemon, this is going to be an absolute staple. I think. Excuse me. Uh, this is going to be an absolute staple. I'm pretty much basically going to go and add this into my deck. <laughs> um, on the TCGO when I am done with this. So, Swabble. Fun Sweet, Tatana, Cub Fu, Ghastly, Reverse Hollow Celio, and now we're at Abomin Snow. Now we've got all the Abomin Snows together and we're just gonna like get them, get like three of them in a row and then we're done. Well, no, that is two packs. I only wanted one. But yeah, I will um, continue working on the setup. I haven't quite gotten my setup quite right and it needs to be kind of take downable and put back up again because this is also where I work. Um, so this is my desk where I do my day job and then I basically essentially switch out my laptops. So I switch my work laptop with my personal laptop and then use it to stream. So um, it's a bit of a work in progress. Uh, I haven't quite gotten the setup where I want it Obviously this is like in the frame, this should be like 
up here somewhere where you can't see it ideally. Um, this camera should be not making me look quite so much like a ghost. I mean, my, I need new ring lights, like all, there's all these little things that need fixing, but I think I'm just gonna kind of fix them. I'm gonna keep streaming and I'll just fix them as I go, um, you know. Okay, Fire Energy, Peonia, Celio, whoops, Doctor, 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 Hutch, let me do that. Lapras, interesting artwork. Lapras with a friend, interesting. Venipede, One Sweet, Ralts, Aron, Reverse Hollow, Agron, and Okay, so we've got three pulls so far. I'm not mad at that. I'm hoping for a seven or eight pull pack um, just because my last pack, I think we had seven pulls, um, which seems to be about average. So I'm kind of hoping for that. I'm not hoping for anything amazing. Fire Energy, Old Cemetery, Flannery, Agatha, Tenna. Feel sunny cast form that looks like bubble gum. I'm not gonna lie, or like one of those ice lollies you get um, in the summer. So that looks like to me. Rolts, Heracross, Reverse Hollow Bennett, and Ampharos. Ampharos V. That was the other deck I was thinking of where the uh, Scroll of the Sky would be really great. I think is in the Ampharos, is in an Ampharos V deck. Um, I think that would definitely be a deck where that card would shine. Um, and if you are up against, say, for example, an Eternatus V or any other kind of V deck, I think that's going to be really great. I don't know if it's going to work so well against single um, single prize Pokemon uh, and one prizers, but I guess it will just depend on how you play the card. Um, Fist Thump Energy, Welcoming Lantern. The single strike support card for me just cut out into your hand. I think we discussed this actually. Was that not like the first trainer I pulled? Um, I think that's going to see some play. Ledian, Path to the Peak. Pokemon with a rule box in play have no abilities. Oh, that could be really good or really bad. That's either going to be amazing if you use it, or if it's used on you, it's going to suck. Yeesh. Weedle, Snorrent, Brawler, Galarian Slowpoke, whoops, Snover, Reverse Hollow, Echoing Horn. Put a basic Pokemon for your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. Interesting. Hmm. And Simeon, another non hollow. We have like had all the green packs today. So hopefully, hopefully we'll then get onto some more white packs. All right, electric energy, path to the peak, Kakuna. I love that. Okay, so I'm basically gonna echo something that Frosted Caribou said, which was, I love that there are a ton of single strike Pokemon. Have no arms. Kakuna has no arms. He doesn't even have legs. He's literally a cocoon. I mean, the only way he's gonna strike is if he manages to somehow hop up, which is against the laws of physics, and like fly into the air and then like whack you over the head with something. And honestly, like it's a single strike Pokemon and its attack doesn't even do any damage. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry, but I just, I just, I think it's so funny. All right, Caitlin, put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw that many cards. Ooh, that's gonna see some play. Squirt it, shop it, coughing, Galarian Yamask, Snover again. Reverse Hollow Swabble and ooh, Celebi V. Oh, she's shiny. Okay, the cut is crap. It's so left side heavy, and then like this side is like teeny tiny on the edging. But I don't care because the artwork is so pretty. Okay, and to sleep we go. Celebi, thank you. That is just such a gorgeous card. The artwork on this is just amazing. I'm legitimately in love. Absolutely in love. All right, so that was our fourth pull. Leaflet dance. Attach any number of leaf energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. 
nice. And for two, you have Slashbacks, which this Pokemon was one of your benched Pokemon. So I don't know if that will see a ton of play. I guess it will depend on what the VMAX um, attacks are. If the VMAX attacks are really good, then I think that Celebi V might see some play. Otherwise, I think it's going to be one of those cards that doesn't see a ton of competitive play, but might see some play in like some theme decks, or maybe if you are kind of creating a specifically um, leaf energy deck. Excuse me. Um, then having like the leaflet dance, for example, is a really good move to have and having the slashback and the ability to switch with one of your bench Pokemon, again, is a really good thing to have. So I think it doesn't do a ton of damage and 190 for a V Pokemon isn't like the highest you could have, but I think it might see some competitive play, um, even if only in a supporter role, really. Okay, Leaf Energy, Spiral Energy, Dynatree Hill... Steeny, Fubble, Heracross, Porygon. Wow, that's a flashback. I haven't seen a Porygon in a while. Galarian Farfetch, my little grumpy bumper, Delibird, Reverse Hollow Cast Form, Sunny Form, and Hollow Gardevoir. Nice. All right, I'm just going to put that there. My other two shinies. Am I like really old if I call them shinies? Like when I was in school, that's what they were. They were like a shiny, it was a shiny Pokemon. Um, I don't know where the, like calling it a hollow Pokemon came from, but to me, it will pretty much always be a shiny Pokemon. I can see the like reverse hollow cause like these cards are like holographic, but to me, this is, will always be a shiny Pokemon. Like that's just, there's nothing else to be said about it. All right, Leaf Energy, Haunter, Brawly, search your deck for up to three basic Rapid Strike Pokemon, put them in your, onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Oh, that could be good. Clara, choose one or both. Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand and put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. That is going to see a lot of competitive play, I reckon. I think Clara is going to see quite a bit of competitive play. Scorbunny, Grokey, oh my god, he's got his like little ninjas. He's like doing his little thing. He's so cute. Ah, I can't wait. I have a Grokey plush coming. I can't wait. I think we're gonna stick him like right here, like right next to my Pikachu, maybe. I'm just really looking forward to it. Apologies that like the background on this is like so awful today. Again different camera regular camera bit the dust yesterday absolutely bit the dust went up in literal smoke will it ladybug 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 reverse hollow dog trio and zed striker that's really cool artwork actually i really like that artwork um that's really nice i don't know if i would necessarily play it Although, mm, I don't know, but the artwork is spot on. Okay. Next up. Uh, ooh, my lord. All right. So to my viewer, I feel like, you know, you've been here for a while. Maybe tell me something about yourself. Speak me something in the chat. What is it? How's it? Here's a basic one. What is your favorite Pokemon? I think that is the question of the day. Today's question, what is your favorite Pokemon? I will tell you after this pack. All right, Dark Energy, Skinny, Lyron, Patrem, Abdu, Ghastly, a snowy form, cast form. Are all the cast forms in this? I feel like all the cast forms have made a reappearance in this set. Shuppet, Rockruff, Reverse Holo Hatena and Tsarina. We're having way more white packs than anything. Alright, I hope that this, you know, it doesn't end up going badly. I'm I'm sorry, I cannot open these packs properly. But no, I'm just really looking forward to being actually able to play people in person. Um I don't think it's gonna happen where I am for a while, although I think they are gonna start um 
loosening restrictions, which I am so not comfortable with. I am, I'm an introvert. I'm happiest at home in my comfy clothes, um, away from people. People are annoying and horrible. And my hair is like having a moment over here. Um, but yeah, like people are like gross and smelly and stinky and over. But um, I would love to be able to play people in person again, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, like, I know that if you're, sorry, I really am exhausted. I know that if you're like completely vaccinated, you're supposed to be able to like be outdoors, like walking around without a mask and it'd be safe. But I now see people like, even if I'm watching a TV show, which was obviously like filmed like years ago, pre panoramic and everything. And I see people who are like standing really close together or there's like a big group of people in like a movie theater or something. I just like automatically recoil now. I'm like, nope, too many people, too close, goodbye. Mm -mm. So I think, you know, as things start to open up, I am gonna try and go out a little bit more, but I'm also kind of liking my little like home bubble. I've become like a, well, I was already a homebody, but I've become a serious homebody in a way that actually I really enjoy. Um, because it means that I can just chill at home. It's very low key. I can get a ton of stuff done. Reverse hollow routes and a glade. Um, I can get a ton of stuff done. I can, you know, hang out at home. I've kind of really like created my space as like my comfort space. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of like, when everything opens up again, are you planning to, you know, embrace being out in public full force? Or are you planning to kind of take it a little slower and maybe change the way you were pre-pandemics? I'm definitely changing a bunch of things I was pre-pandemonium. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to change a bunch of things. Like, well, things that have already changed, I'm just going to keep them instead of going back to my old ways. I think we're the key. Melanie, or is that melon? That kind of looks like Melanie, like a melon e. Um, attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V if you do draw three cards. Ooh. That'll be added more ducks. Celio, cast form, another cast form. Swirlix, looking like a big old fluffy snap. Wearing yama. Feel reverse hollow by Vesta and Doug Trio. But yeah, I think that, you know, I'm definitely going to change some things. I'm definitely going to be more kind of choosy with the events I go to, with the social stuff I do, um, because I do find it really exhausting. And I found it exhausting even pre pandemic. I really am an, in I'm not kidding when I say I'm an introvert. I like my quiet time and my alone time and I like being by myself and I like reading and listening to music and chilling out and playing on my Nintendo and just like not being around people and I really like quiet and I think that post you know like when all of this is over which I personally don't think is gonna be anytime soon um I think I'm really going to treasure that time more and I'm really going to be more protective of my personal time I think in the past like pre all of this like 2017 2018 even into 2019 I was very much willing to put myself on the back burner to be like a social person to like go out and have drinks which yeah no thank you to you know go out and party to like have a bunch of late nights like go to a bunch of different events in a week and I'm just not doing that post pandemic I think I'm going to limit my drinking um I definitely actually cut my drinking an awful lot during the pandemic and I'm actually happier that way I think I'm going to be a lot more choosy with the events I do go to um there are definitely some events I will not be getting at um there are definitely events where I can't picture not going um or not seeing people or not having so much fun but I also am going to be real like if it's an event where I'm kind of like eh, do I go do I not I'm not sure I feel about it I'm just gonna say no like if it doesn't make me jump up and down and go oh my god I want to go 
we're not we're no longer interested. We're not we're not holding that anymore. We're just gonna nope. All right, water energy, fire resistant. Okay, I'm gonna have to get all the gloves out at the end of this because I think there's like a bunch of different glove trainers because I've seen like at least three or four of them. Fire resistant gloves. Oh, I'm sorry, those just look like oven mitts to me. I love it. They're like oversized Pokemon oven mitts. I wonder if they get, if you can get those in like actual oven mitts. I'd buy those. Myron, Peony, Castform, Ralts, Paracross. Quillfish, whoops, another cast form, weeding gloves, reverse hollow, and another Zep striker. Um, but yeah, I definitely am not willing to kind of give up my my personal time, my personal space. Um I also, you know, I just also how are you guys doing with like dating during all of this? Like, are you just giving up for the period and you're like, I'll yeah, get back to it when it's you know, when all of this is over? Are you attempting to do it like through the middle of it are you like oh goodness oh, i really am so tired um because i am like i can try and kind of intermittently to like get back on bumble to like chat to friends to like check instagram and i'm just like i'm tired like it's been a long ass year like we've been like in this for like almost 18 months we're all tired, we're all grumpy, we all have permanent fatigue. Like, I don't know about anyone else, but my mental health has done like a whole full roller coaster this year. Like, we've been, we've had highs, we've had lows, we've had everything in between, we've had loop de loops, we've had, we don't know if we're up or down, like, all of it. I've had so many like completely nutso days where just like I'll be hyper one minute and like top of the world and then like I'm keeled over sideways. Like, I will go from jumping up and down, having a full cup of coffee, like 3,000 words a minute, like overjoyed, you know, living for lo like loving life. And 20 minutes later, I'm like keeled over sideways on my bed having a nap. And it's like, it's just up and down, up and down. And I like, I cannot fathom trying to like seriously date at the same time during this. I've like done a little bit um oh look at the porygon this is porygon 2 i really do like the porygon artwork like i think they're just so cute and they honestly remind me of oh no i still have it packed so when i, I don't know about anyone else but when i was little and i still have my one because i'm an absolute pack rat and i love mementos and memory stuff and anything that like reminds me of specific times in my life but i have a wooden duck that I have when I'm really little and it's one of those ones where you pull it on a string and when you pull it and it rolls forward like the duck's head goes and I love that thing and this makes me think of that because like the head and the body are kind of like rounded in that same way I absolutely love it I just think Pokemon's so cute like and a seriously underrated Pokemon on like cuteness level because I think a lot of people kind of see him as like a weird like digital Pokemon like kind of almost a digi Digimon almost in his like kind of construction but actually he's so cute. Marie, speaking of cute Pokemon, Reverse Holo Raboot and Shiny Shaman. Okay, not too terrible. I'm not upset. All right guys, we are halfway through. We have all of these packs left we so far have had four pulls and four shinies and we are on to the next pack um but yeah no i can't picture dating during all of this like i dated i mean i date dated is like a very loose term i went on a couple of dates um with someone well like october november last year like before the november lockdown so probably it was mostly october of last year um, and we went on a couple of dates. It was a Tinder match. I went on like three or four dates, five maybe. And it was fun. Like it was nice. I think at that point it was nice just to like be around someone who I wasn't related to. <laughs> because I basically seen no one but my mum who I live with and my brother for like close to a year or close to, yeah, close to a year at that point, nine months. So it was really nice to like be around someone different and to hang out. Hello again. Um, but it's just exhausting. Dealing with other, dealing with people in general, I've now find is like so exhausting. <laughs> I 
I'm just chatting about whatever. I'm talking and if people want to listen, they can listen or respond, they can respond. And if you know what, we're talking about dating because dating during a pandemic is exhausting. And I barely function as it is. And the people who've like managed to either like find love in the middle of 2020, I'm just like, how? I don't understand. I like, I, I genuinely don't because Leaf Energy, Caitlin. Oh, that's good actually, because I need multiples of these. I'm gonna play it in a deck. Peony, because like I basically just about managed to function through 2020. Um, I had some highs, I had some lows, but like the people who can like do all of 20, ooh, she's throwing things around again. Um, but the people who could like do 2020 with like all the shit going on. Oh, thank you. Hopefully my voice isn't too annoying. Um, with all the shit going on and managed to find love, like those people deserve some kind of like weird achievement award because the rest of us have been managing to like stay awake. Like, I consider it an achievement if by 10 a.m. I am fully clothed in not my pajamas and my teeth brushed, my f skincare is done, and I'm on coffee number two. Yeah, I, I did match with one person on Tinder in like, but it was like October of last year and it was before the like November, December lockdown. And I went on a couple of dates and I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a lot of fun but it was really stressful like having to second guess every movement like every time we got close to each other it was like Meh. so yeah it was it was fun but it just like i just I, I just i couldn't maintain it i was like right i'm going home and having a nap by and banette non tiny but yeah no i couldn't i basically like i haven't deleted them from my phone but i basically ignore them at this point <laughs> They're there as like a reminder that one day, one somehow I might want to date someday, but otherwise I just like, I delete most like all the apps from my phone that I get like really bored of or I don't use, I tend to delete. I tend to try it because I, because I film um, some vlog stuff on my phone and because I take a lot of pictures and all that kind of stuff and I have a lot of music, I try not to, um, oh yeah, trust me, I have zero luck too. Um, I either get uh I either get like the jackasses who send me uh inappropriate pictures, inappropriate comments, or seem to think that all women are good for is a sandwich in um and being in the kitchen, or I get the um or I get someone who sees that uh, I am uh, American and seems to think that I'm a moron and they need to teach me how to be a better human being. I'm an American, sweetie. I'm not stupid. Um, but yeah, so no, I have zero luck with dating. I, <laughs> I basically joke that I'm going to be an old lady with cats and a dog and a horse. Like, that's going to be me. I'm going to be the, a little old lady living on a farm in the middle of freaking nowhere with all my, with my menagerie of animals and like... I'm gonna be the one who like makes cookies and is like adorable and sweet, but then also has like a walking stick that's made of solid wood that she can hit you with. That's gonna be me if you piss her off. That's what I. That's why. That's what I aspire to in life now because my the dating thing is just like a disaster. Um, it's just exhausting and annoying and like everyone seems to be out for like the most superficial shit. Um, but anyway. Realpeed, Brawly, we are actually supposed to be talking about Pokemon and not my lack of dating life, but here we are. Melanie, Venipede, Snorant, Aaron, Scorbunny, Grokey, cute little self, reverse hollow club. Jeez, this is just like cuteness overload. And then Scolipede. Scolipede? I think it's Scolipede. Um, but yeah, no, I just... I... I give up on dating, honestly. I'm just like, if someone, if you know, if a man falls from the sky or from another dimension and lands in my lap, great. Otherwise, meh. Like, at the end of the day, I think 
like while I would like to be with someone obviously long, long term at this point it's not necessary like it's not needed for me to like <laughs> yeah lots of don't I don't check this to DM my insta I get that a lot on bumble or on bumble I get a lot of um if you ha if you use filters um swipe right left or uh my or uh what are the other ones like I get a lot of like ones with like passive aggressive comments about if you're doing if you're doing YouTube or if you're um, on Instagram and like take it seriously like you must be really shallow and like goodbye and I'm just like you know what that's fine the door is that way like whatever because it's just one that like I don't need another person to complete me I don't need another person to make a paycheck I don't need another person like for most things so why would I why would, why would, why would I want to give up my space and my private time and my quiet time to have another person in my house like no ew go away leave me alone if I live by myself or with my mother um which at the minute is wonderful because we're both very quiet people mostly it's peaceful in the house it's so quiet I love it mm. I do miss miss I miss meeting nice yeah I miss meeting nice people I miss meeting I don't even miss like me I don't even miss meeting new people anymore I just miss meeting my friends like the people who I love like the people I'm closest to I miss meeting them like you and I miss meeting like Ali and Eleanor and Alex like that group of people I miss them. Everyone else can go away. Um, water energy, Karelia. Karelia? I can never pronounce that correctly. Seabold, Echoing Horn, Rainy Cast Form. Have we had all the cast forms now? We've definitely had Fire, Snow, Normal, Rainy. Hmm. Yeah, I like, I miss hugs, but I can get hugs from my friends. Friend hugs are best, I think. Yeah, I miss having someone to care about, but I just I just transfer all of that like annoying kind of like care and like uh like smotheringness onto my friends and then it's fine. Needle, clobopus, reverse hollow crushing gloves, and <gasps> Ooh We have a full art We have a full art Leopard V. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh, she's an elegant kitty. She's an elegant kitty. Oh, she's a very elegant kitty. Ooh, we have a full art one as well. Oh, I'm in love. All right. We have five pulls, you guys. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah, no, I. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> Anyone who is in that group of people, um, they're gonna get smothered. They're gonna get squished because I'm gonna be hugging them way too tightly and I'm sure as heck not letting them go. So they're just gonna have to like deal with the fact that they're gonna get squished. I mean, it's so pretty, isn't it? I really love like the shiny artworks in the minute. I just think are so good, so well done. Um, all right, here we go. Fluffy Galarian chest plate. The Pokemon this card is attached with Galarian. Its name takes thirty less damage from attacks from your opponent's from your opponent's Pokemon. Oh. Lucky energy, coughing, Brokey, Globopus, Heracross, Marie. Reverse Hollow Slurpuff, and ooh, Stringle Single Strike Urshifu. Yeah. Oh, he's a pretty, pretty one. Ooh, he's so pretty. All right. It's another shiny to add to our stuff. We are doing pretty good so far, I think, today. And we're not doing too terrible for time either because last time I really did, like, take a while. I mean, I had to split the damn box in two because I couldn't get them all done in one go. Um, I am going to probably get this one done in one, long, one go and then like have a nap, but yeah. Alright, eye energy, 
chest plate, peony, the wacky, sobel, larvesta, rainy cast form, galarian farfetch, my grumpy dude, weedle, reverse holder ledian, and volcarona. Well, we had two really good packs one after another, so that's all right. Hi, Adama. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm really bad with names. French is uh, not a language I speak. Um, I speak English and German, I'm afraid, but I don't unfortunately speak for any French. Um, it's never something I was good at. Doctor, Hunter, Clara, Snorant, Galarian Yamas, Coughing, Galarian Slowpoke, Deerling, Reverse Hollow Rillipede, and a Gollar. Okie dokie. But yeah, no, I just like, I don't know, I just, I think the older I get, I do start to feel old now. Someone informed me the other day and it made me want to cry. Really made me want to cry. The Blink-182 is apparently dad rock. It's dad music. That was a depressing moment in my life. A very depressing moment in my life. First of all, yeah, I know, I'm like... <laughs> I can sometimes speak English. Sometimes it comes out more like gobbledygook. But the idea that Blink-182 is like, is dad music, god that made me want to cry. I genuinely, it's like part of my childhood. I'm not that old. At least I don't feel that old. Apparently it's what I listen to now is dad music. All right, Eye Energy, Hatram, Expedition Uniform, Melanie, Hatena, Snowy Cast Form, Clubopus. I'm gonna start putting googly eyes on all my Colobopus because I think this with googly eyes would look so cute. <laughs> I don't feel old when I'm opening Pokemon cards. I feel old when I get out of bed in this morning and like half and like my back cracks. Or I like, um, what did I do the other day? Oh, I was, um, so I'm massively get, I'm getting, or I'm starting to get massively into film photography. Um, like old school, old school. Now I'm aging myself. Um, like film cameras, so um, like with like an actual film roll, like when I was growing up, cameras, uh, not digital. And I was looking something up online and was like looking at a blog article or something. It was something about like how to find the best uh, film cameras that aren't like stupidly expensive. Cause it's starting to come back as like a thing to do and so like the prices of the cameras are going like up 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 and i really lucked out because my mom actually still has her old film camera and she's a really nice one so i just stole that um but i got really i felt really old but i was reading this blog post and it informed me <laughs> it informed me that there were children not even children there were adults alive today adults whose entire lives had been documented on a digital camera that made me feel old. That made me feel old. Because I remember being a preteen and still using a film camera. Like it was like a big deal when my mum actually started letting me use the film camera and like adjust, like actually taking shots myself and using the focus and like actually being able to use her camera was like a big deal. And I was not that young when that happened. But apparently, 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 if your, if your child was captured on a film camera, you're old. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. That's terrifying. All right, Galarian Slowking, Reverse Hollow, and another Obama Snow. I swear to goodness, I'm gonna like, I'm just, I'm gonna have nightmares where Obama Snow just like chased me around the room. It's gonna be kind of terrifying, I think. But no, I really am loving the film photography stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting, um, I ordered a new film camera today, another 35mm. I have this 
lovely pink thing that lives over here, which is just like a little cheapy 35mm one. Um, and I have my mum's really nice uh, Canon one, Canon camera. So I'm really looking forward to the world opening up a little bit and we can actually go out in the world and take some pictures. Yeah, they've never had the internet. Like, there are, there are, there are kids, there are teenagers alive today who never had to do a Bluetooth, like having to send someone a song via Bluetooth and making sure your phones were together for like 10 minutes while the damn song transferred. <laughs> or dial up, dial up the noise that will forever terrify the entire of my generation. Like all of us are just terrified by the dial up noise because that was the noise that meant that you could actually reach the world or not. And like, ki like kids, they do these like videos where like not old people, but like reasonably young people will like show their like younger siblings or like younger cousins or like younger family members, like the dial up noise. And it makes, it makes adults cringe. And there are like teenagers who are like, I don't know what that noise means. That terrifies me. Ooh, did you really buy a new SLR yesterday? What did you get? I'm really curious now. Um, because I have, um, ooh, reverse holo Cresselia and Malamar. Um, cause mine is, I think it's a Canon AE1, um, but it's my mum's one from when I was a kid. So I think she's had it possibly longer than I've been alive. I would have to double check. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Why did you pretty print a save icon? I'm getting that printed on a t-shirt. That's gonna be my merch when I'm like, when I'm like way down the line or whatever, when I can actually afford to do merch. I'm getting that on a t-shirt. Why did you 3D print a save icon? Oh, that's terrifying. There's Sony Alpha 6100. I haven't seen that. I will have to have a look at that. Hang on, I have my phone right here. What am I talking about? I have my phone right here. No Forbidden Planet. I do not need to know about more Pokemon releases. I already have way too many stuff, way too much stuff. Ooh, nice. I'm in favor of anything with the with the uh, with the flip around view viewer, but I use oh as my whole setup comes crashing to a halt. Um, I use the Canon G Seven X. I think this is the Mark II. This is my baby. This is my vlogging baby. Um, I was vlogging earlier. That's why it's sitting on my desk. Um, why did you have oh, no. did you 3D print a icon? That's terrifying. There are actually the on the like three birds D printing the save icons, I've always um <laughs> Yeah, except that I have to have some money for merch and currently my money is, you know, on the table in front of me. <laughs> um but also I um I did see this thing on Etsy, it was like I think they were like coasters. They were like rubber coasters, um, coffee coasters, and they were uh, floppy disks. And I always bought them. I was so close to buying them. I thought they were so cool. They were just like this chunk of my childhood. But now I actually think what I might do is just buy a bunch of floppy disks and like use them as coasters. <laughs> Cause no one's got anything that will read them. So like, it doesn't matter if there's anything on them. Plus you can never have more than like I don't know, two word documents on it. Um, but I definitely like, I think it would be really fun. Yeah, I, that, that was what get, made me go to the, um, with the G7X was the, was the flip screen. Um, because it's really hard to vlog when you can't see what you're actually filming. <laughs> and I've done that. I did an entire vlog and you can, you can see me from here down. No mouth, just chin, neck, and like, it was bad. <laughs> And that was the point at which I was like, okay, we're getting a natural camera with a flip screen because like that's just not gonna do it otherwise. Avery. Ooh, this is a new one. Single straight scroll of piercing. Okay, so this is fire. 
bullet break through 120 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance or by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, oh we stick in this in a center scorch deck and we having some fun. I'm so sticking this in a center scorch deck. That's gonna be amazing. That is so good. I'm using that in a center scorch deck. That's actually going out separate so that I can stick it in a center scorch deck. See, I have limited table space, but I also have just like, I think because of lockdown and being home all the time, I'm a lot more like aware of mess. And so I've just started using coasters. Uh, we also bought a really nice table before we moved like mid last year um, that my mum doesn't want marks on. And so we um, started restarted using coasters. And I've actually really gotten back into having coasters on the table. Like I just, I can't, she says, as her water bottle does not have any coasters on it. Reverse her gollet and Kecleon. Um, but I actually really gotten back into having coasters. Honestly, it was bad. I just scrapped the whole thing. I just deleted it. I think the I think the footage has been lost to uh, lost to the rubbish bin and never to be seen again. <laughs> I blasted it into cyberspace and was like, never returned. Ooh, I think I saw something. I think I saw something gold and shiny. Okay, dark energy, honey trainer, spiral energy, crab bot. Crabominable. I can't say this. Crabominable. Crabominable. Yeah. Lapras. Found Sweet. Venipede. Ralts. Aaron. Reverse Hollow Yamask. And. <gasps> oh! Oh! Look at this pretty. A shiny echoing horn. Oh my god, how pretty. It's a secret rare, you guys. We got a secret rare finally. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Where are my where are my sleeves? Where are my sleeves? It's going in a sleeve. Actually the cut on it's not too terrible. Oh no, the cut it's cut top to bottom is really bad, but the cut uh left to right actually isn't that bad. Yeah, it's a little heavy in this corner versus this corner. That's so pretty. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, please don't send me a song that will make me feel... I mean, you can send me a song that will make me feel old, but all I have to do for that is to, you know, turn on VH1 for all of you in the chat and who are watching this, either live or in the replay crew. Who know what VH1 is? That should age you a little bit. And if you don't know what VH1 is, it's what us old people thought of as the old people's channel when we were young. All right, Leaf Energy, Crabominable, Market Helmet, Flannery, Scorbunny, Diglett, Inke, Kubfu, Bone Sweet. Reverse Hollow Agatha and oh, Lissy V. Oh, we're up to seven pulls, you guys. Oh, she's so cute. She like looks so angry. I'm just gonna show you guys. She looks so angry, but she's so fluffy. She looks so angry, but she's so fluffy and cute and pink. Oh my god, she's so adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, we are up to seven pulls, you guys. We have three packs left. I love bottling for soup. Okay, I'm definitely gonna watch that the minute the stream is done. Um, sorry. Ooh, give me the um, the Blitty is so nice. Um, I don't think I'll be using it in a deck. I think, um. I don't think its attacks are, are uh, competitive at all, but it is a super sweet card. All right, so we are up to seven pulls, not including just the regular hollows. We have three packs left. So, 
fingers crossed, we get at least one more. But you guys, we made it through this in like just over an hour, so I'm pretty proud of myself because the last one combined, I think we were up close to two hours. Lightning energy, Karen's conviction. I just hate the name Karen. Not for any, but I'm apologizing if your name is Karen. But the connotation for me. Where's the manager? Where is the manager? Kakuna, Flappy, Cast Form, Grumpy Farfetched, Weedle, Grokey, Clubopus. Those three seem to come together all the time. The Weedle, the Grokey, and the Clubopus come together. Ooh, this is new. Galarian Runrigus. I can never pronounce this correctly. Runrigus. And. Oh! You guys. We got a Tornadus Vmax. We got another one. We're up to eight poles and we have two, two packs left. Oh my god, you guys. Ah! Get in the sleeve. shiny. I'm so happy. Look at all my pretty shiny. Woo! Oh, okay. All right. We're just gonna, we're just gonna come down from the fact that we have very shiny cards in front of us. And we're gonna get through the last two packs. Just the last two packs. I'm kind of getting hungry and I kind of want dessert. <laughs> Not dessert. I want dinner. All right. Fist bump energy. Fire Resistant Gloves, Peonia, Celio, Scorbunny, Grookey, Crabrawler, Squibbit, Lidiba, Reverse Holy Rugged Helmet, and a Galarian Weezing. Alright, can we get a good pull in the final pack? This is our final pack, guys, for the day. All right, let's see what we got. Let us see what we got. Okay. Let's start with something over there. I'm gonna do the Pokemon Shuffle. Here we go. Fire Energy. Kuna. Porygon 2. Weeding Gloves. Lapras with a little melody in the background. That's so cute. Brown Sweet, Venipede, I really am going to get a camera that actually focuses on the damn cards. <laughs> Ralts, Aron, Galarian Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow, and ooh, Shiny Beedrill. Okay, I'm kind of living for this, like, this artwork is bomb. This artwork is absolutely bomb. Love that. Sorry, um, I don't hand out the codes because I actually play the TCG O and I actually use the codes myself, so I don't hand out codes. Um, I'm really sorry. Uh, at some point, I might if um, you know if I get to a point where I don't need them, um, I might do a giveaway or something. But at the minute, I don't do the codes because I use them myself. Um, because I practice my uh, my decks on TCG O. Um, but yeah. All right, guys, that is all we have for today. We pulled eight. We had eight wonderful pulls plus six regular shinies. Um, and yeah, I am, I am so happy. We got the first secret rare I think I've ever gotten, um, pulled, I mean, um, and we've done really good today. So I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to relax, have my dinner and go to bed. It's been a very long day. I'm going to bed, it has been a very long day. Uh, I mean, yeah, that too, I paid for them. <laughs> I paid a lot of money for them. Um, 
but yeah, I'm going to be heading out. Um, I think there's dinner awaiting me and I have to clean up the mess that has been created from unpacking all of these packs. So thank you for hanging out with me, uh, for listening to me natter for an hour. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I did want to say one update is that I have updated my, um, live stream and posting schedule. Um, I'm going to stick it in a community post, but for the moment, I'll just tell you guys. Um, so I'm planning to live stream on a Monday. It might be long, it might be short. Um, it won't always be an unboxing. Sometimes it might be um, a TCGO gameplay. It might, but it should generally be Pokemon related. If it's not Pokemon related, it'll probably be a story time or just chatting. Um, kind of whatever floats my boat, basically. Um, but it should mostly be Pokemon related. And then my upload schedules, I'm moving to a Wednesday upload. Um, just because getting it done for a Monday wasn't working for me with work. Um, so I will be uploading on a Wednesday. I will be vlog, uh, live streaming on a Monday and there might be another, uh, live stream in there. It just kind of depends on, on how I'm feeling and what's going on and if I fancy it really. So, um, it is a plan. It was so nice to hang out with you and I will see you guys in my next one. All right. Bye.